Greetings fellow demons and eldritch horrors, and welcome to the stream today. Um, sorry, there was a bit of a, a delay in me starting and uh, whatnot. Um, just hanging out with my roommate for a bit, because uh, I literally just got home. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. I know I am. Uh, I still have my little character, but you'll see we have hit our face reveal um so look look ready 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 boom it's me <laughs> hi gays hello fellow queers um haven't been joining lately pa has been a bitch to deal with you're fine it's all good um yeah uh, i'm gonna pull up the game but hello <laughs> Hope you guys have been well, doing swell, doing great, doing dandy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I may go in between, like, I'm not going to deprive you guys of the face cam, but just because it'll be easier, I might go back and forth between my face cam and my little, my little guy, just so you're aware. Um, I was doing something. Oh, I was doing this. Pulling this up. Trying to use, learn how to use Krita over Fire Alpaca for drawing. It's really weird switching. Fair enough. Every other stream. Well, I have it, so it's like a point reveal thing. Um, so you guys can like, uh, you guys can like, use, spend void pieces or whatever to, uh, put on the face cam if I'm not using it. Krita, what I, Krita is, was what I used um, for a long time before I was able to afford, um, what's it called, uh, Clip Studio. So Krita is good, Krita is great. I'm turning everything down a little bit, because it was very loud. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna continue. Hold on to anything, make it last. Why is this not? Hold on. Why can't you see the game? I got two achievements for some reason. Game. There it goes. Why did I get two achievements? What were those achievements for? What happened? Who am I? Mainly switching, so hopefully my art goes up in quality and I can hopefully get more commissions. Yes, do it. Why did I get those achievements? I'm so confused now. What did I do to deserve this? Well, now I gotta pull up my Steam page. Okay, 
What are these for? Who is his, this rando in the corner of my screen? Dude, I don't know. He snuck onto the stream. I don't know who he is. Oh, I guess it's me doing the playthrough multiple times. That's wacko for cra crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, you guys ready for base? You guys ready for base? It's base time, guys. It's base time, Pog. Pog champ. We're playing more base. As I put it for it, so I can practice before I go to, to the band thing before. I did it earlier. Echo, your hair is darker than me. Fair enough. I also dyed my hair darker though, so suck it. Also, I prefer having darker hair. I think I look so boring with blonde hair, blue eyes. That's so boring. Like, I'm sure you pull it off great, Dragon, but I don't think I do. I think it's boring and lame. My hair is more majestic, too. Look a lot like me other than the glasses. You're just a cooler version of me. Do you play music IRL? Um, yeah, I used to be in band. I played flute, um, and I played piano for a long time. Which probably, you're like, wow, he's played instruments before and he can't keep tempo uh, in this video game. Yeah, no, I know. Probably better than me at piano. I love piano. I could play piano forever. Not bad. We got a not bad. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. Um, but yeah, no, I actually had my hair dyed. I can play virtual piano. Well, there you go. There, there, that, that counts. That counts. That counts. I think if you... Well, okay. Are you, are you using your mouse to click it? Or are you playing it like... Hmm. I guess it depends on what counts. Still learning for Elise. This is my first song. The part of the song where you have to hit five notes at a time is really sucking. Fair enough. No, that that's fair. Playing with my keyboard like the letters. I will accept it. I will accept it because it is similar enough. Um, I'm sure you don't know you, you unless you, unless you have a good virtual keyboard in which you have like you can hit like the the black keys as well. But, uh, that's... Uh, play Freak on IRL. Help you. Yeah. I, like, was in a full-blown... Like, I had a piano teacher. Um, so I learned how to play, like, all the basics. And then, um... But I haven't played it. I haven't played piano in, like... Six years, maybe. I think I could still sight-read stuff. I still remember the notes, and I think as long as you know where middle C is, you're fine. You can hit black, black keys, oh there you go, perfect. Then yeah, you're playing piano. Close enough. Don't know what middle C is? Uh, well yeah, if you're, if you're just... The difference between taking like a piano class versus like, or not class, but having like a tutor or whatever, is like, you're teaching yourself everything, so you don't know like the terminology, which is fine, because who needs it? That's what I'm doing with my ukulele, which I suck at, I suck at ukulele. Um, but what middle C is, is it's just like the C that's in the middle of the piano, and it's like, um, on the, on the music staff, um, it's like the ones that on, is on a line below the staff. So it's like, oh, it's in the middle, because then on uh, bass clef, um, 
it's also on the line above the staff. So it's like the same position. Um, how do you know if it's a C or not? It doesn't say. Um, Dragon, so do you know what the notes on the piano are? Or do you just hit things because they sound right? Like, do you know... Do you know the alphabet of the piano, like, and how it goes? I hit things because they sound right, okay. Um, well, I got you. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna learn some music today, guys. That's not how you spell piano. It's fine. Um, oh, that has my thing. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I forgot. It's, why is it on that one? Why are you on this monitor? Why are you here? Why are you here? Hmm? Go to the other monitor. Get out of here. Okay. C is the key in front of every two black keys. Yes, you're right. You mean like E, G, B, D, F, and face? Uh, yes. So middle C is this one. This is middle C. You can see it's on the line above or below uh, is this right here. I miss your little thing. I can go back to it. I prefer it. <laughs> um, so this is middle C. This is where it is. Um, and, then, and then you do um, face and every good boy deserves fudge. Um, or Egabadoof. Um, but this is C, and then D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So, fun fact, this is the flat. So it goes C sharp, and then it's also D flat. And then we have D sharp, but there's no E sharp. In fact, if you say, oh, I play E sharp, that means you're playing F. You're playing F. Because uh, F doesn't have a flat either. How do you even start learn piano? Do you just start trying to play random songs, or is there more to it? Um, it depends, I guess. I'm not sure if there's something specific I should be doing. Honestly, I would look up YouTube videos um, because then you can start with the basics and like this, like this, like learning hot cross buttons. Yeah, hot cross buttons literally C, D, E, C, D, E. Or, no, it's not. It's maybe E, D, C. I don't remember. Who cares? I think it's F, E, D. It doesn't matter. Um, But you, you learn like your thumbs are both on middle C and then your hands um like this is a this is your pointer this is your other pointer and then you go to G and G so that's where your hand sits on the piano and then like learning where your hand goes and stuff can help you learn how to play songs faster I tried doing the scale thing fair enough I was so speedy look at you I am really bad at scales, like, especially on flute and stuff. Like, flute is just a C scale. So it's like, nothing changes. Instruments is different. Some of them have, like, flats and stuff on the clefs that are natural with the instrument. But flute is the same. I'm just don't, I'm just bad at learning uh, scales. But C, I love the C scale. It's basic. There's no flats or sharps. It's beautiful. Um... No, it's not. A flute isn't a C scale. It's an F scale. Is what scale is flute? Okay, I'm wanting to put down a scale. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, F being the longest and lowest. So it is. Oops, C major. No, it's not because I remember. Yeah, it's okay. So it's the F major scale because I know it has a B flat. I know B flat. We had to do C minor scale on a keyboard, but I didn't know what it was, so I pressed random keys and got an A plus. You know what? You want to know what a C a C minor scale? Pretty sure C minor minor scale. Yeah, it's the only thing is it's an E flat. Did I say? Yeah, no, I was right. Unlearn aria math on piano someday. That song is so good. I don't know what that song is, but it sounds great. Oh, it's got three flats. So it's E flat, A flat, B flat. When your cult outfit, uh, I have, it's every time I hit enter, I think, there's a button that I hit and it accidentally goes into this. 
because it's on my numpad, but it's not actually numbers. I could make it my numpad. No, I couldn't because it's set to it. Minecraft? Oh, it's a Minecraft soundtrack. Oh, it's my down key. It's every time I use my down thing. My down on my, my keyboard. This is good. Yeah, I know this one. I've, I've heard it before. Literally, there's my, my home right there. In Minecraft. What a title. A playlist to feel like you're floating beyond the atmosphere. I love that. Um, I know the OG C418 song on piano. I'm assuming you're talking about Sweden. I'm assuming Sweden. <laughs> Damn, call me out. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's me being a music nerd. Um, <laughs> oh, hi. I forgot my webcam was on. I want to learn most of the C418 songs on piano. They're super good. I want to learn how to do them. I imagine they're pretty simple. But yeah, I would just YouTube, um, like, learning piano basics and stuff like that. Um, and that should help you uh, at least be able to, like, learn songs and stuff faster instead of just, like, hitting notes until it sounds right type stuff. Uh, I believe we have band practice today, which is why I practiced. Got. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized it completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. If you want to say hello. Sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry to band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. I'm a mute stream and play Golden Hour until I get bored of it and switch to playing another song. Fair enough. Sounds good. Oh, I get to say hello to my mother. Hey, hon. Did she have a good time at Harfest? Sure. You look tired. You look tired. Yeah, I guess. I have a headache. This has got me wanting to play some piano, so I'm gonna do that right now. Sounds good. Do it. I believe in you. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You wanna talk about school? Not yet. Are you waiting for anything in particular? No, just we will talk about it, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, well that's good. I'm gonna get going. Okay, have a nice day, sweetie. Okay. Let's go play band. And let me pass this freaking song. What's this game about? Looks good. Oh, it's so good, dude. Um, I would say it's about being super atmospheric as well. Yeah, no, I, I love this game. This is seriously in my top, ooh, probably top like three. Um, I'd have to look at my Steam page again, but this is either, this is either two or three, just right off the top of my head. Um, I'd say it's like about mental health and being an adult, like a fresh out of, like either like in college or like fresh out of college adult and just surviving. <laughs> It's, it's, it's about that. But it's... Someone moving in? Yeah. There's possibilities. I have to get it someday? Totally. Um, or if you, if you don't want to. Uh, I do have... Um, this is the second playthrough. I have the entire first playthrough on my VODs channel already. If you want to, obviously. But I think I think you should play it yourself, genuinely. I think it's so much better when you play it blind by yourself the first time. Because I've played this wolf in the back. Oh yeah, his name is Greg and I love him. He's gay, it's great. Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? Let's tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Gonna have to band practice. Greg the wolf. I love Greg. Greg and his boyfriend Angus the bear. 
They do. It's a problem with reading or watching spoilers before doing something blind. Fair enough. Like I said, I I totally recommend playing this blind. This is so good blind. Because, like, you're just... You obviously, you don't know what happens. And you don't know all, like, the secrets and stuff. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out on the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. What's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, just tired. There, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. I suck at this one. So... I fucked it up. Oh well. I fucked up the maestro ending. Oh well. Well, not ending, but achievement. Oh well. How do you expect me to do this? Yeah, no, I fucked this up. I literally can't do this. Does failing cause something bad to happen or missing too many notes? Not- I mean, nothing happens. Uh, they just- they just go, oh man, you suck at this. Um, but there- there is an achievement you get when you succeed in all of the songs first try. But I'm really- I'm so bad. Did you see how many times I've played that f fucking previous song? The jump in difficulty is insane! I literally don't know this song. It fucking sucks. Anyway. I have to go to where I am in this walkthrough. Stream of vocal cords, Yovan. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm gonna sound so husky. I love Angus. Angus is the bear. And anyway, I don't know if, even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think I was, was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after. She can you for for at least or try learning a Minecraft song to probably be more easy. I would. I'd say do a Minecraft song because you're right. It probably is easier. Do it. Kid had some kid, and also I think he was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Okay. Um, we're just gonna skip through this all because this is all the same as previous playthrough. Do 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 do. There's nothing we have to do today. I just had to succeed at band and I didn't, so. That's how it goes. The library. This is all the same. Yeah, that's fine. I'll practice pumpkin head guy a lot. I wish you could like practice something in between, but nope. They just uh, throw you in the deep end. It's hard to go up. Another floor. Through 
text. There we go. And now we skip through all of this text. Because of course we do, why not? Anyway, um, how are you guys? I'm, I'm honestly, honestly pretty tired. Pretty tired. As you could tell from my yawning. Hey look, we found one. I think there's, there's three. So many corners. Corners? Chords. Uh, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. We love text. Oh, I'm on the. Why did I. No, I want to go down. I didn't realize I was on the bottom floor. Oh, Selmers isn't there. Blah, 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 blah. Poetry Society. Uh, no, let's not. We've done this already. Mega unfortunate. Oh, damn, mate. All right, more text. This is where they decide where they're going. Look at them, they're all so adorable. go to bed and we are trying pumpkin head again cuz I need to practice it I'll get it eventually I'll get it eventually bedtime bedtime oh, shit. Nightmare. hmm Alrighty. Platforming time. Go. 
person. I imagine there's someone down here. Long way, I suppose. started up here. That sounds about right. Yeah, it was like this spot. There we go. of things to be a bird. Birds are very, very cool. In my opinion, at least. For real. <laughs> so you can see after stream? Cool. Thank you, dragon. Part of my first art... Uh, I drew a bird on it? Fuck yeah. Birds are great. All right, let's try pumpkin head guy again. Will I do well? Probably not. Love birds? Birds are very, very cool. Read your message in a second, I do see it.
not great at all. PA is a personal assignment, just a stupid thing we have to do since apparently our school is a leadership academy, which it totally isn't. <laughs> Sounds very fun. First art personal assignment to a bird on. So good. I I didn't figure out how much I like birds until recently. And like nothing spurred it. I was just like birds are very cool. What it means is that we have to come in on a weekend to present to the teachers. Echo, you suck at this? Oh, I'm aware. I am very, very aware. That's why I'm practicing. You're playing as hurting my soul? I thought you had the stream muted, so... Sorry you have to deal with my chaos. I turn it back on. I should type this out in my keybinds. Go for it. I can't play it anymore. I'm only allowed to play it twice. Um, let's go hang out with B again. I'm yeah. I'm, I wish I could play it more. Next song then. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean I'll be playing this one a lot. Uh, every t time I can. So. Hi, Selmers. B, my friend. I must hang out with you. I didn't see if that raccoon lady had a child or not. The old pickaxe. Hey B. Hey B. Hey May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh cool. But also maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and like not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they got caught, caught someone doing that. I summoned a demon earlier and I think I gave myself an attachment. Like slash Jen or slash J. You wanna burn this place down for me. Oh cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well. Uh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Do you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. The graveyard! Oh, okay. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Flex between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. I'm fully aware that ghosts and shit exist. Yeah, no, I know. But, like, why, why, why would you, why did you do that? Oh, it's the janitor. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. There's one behind you? I- yeah, I see it. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> no, I like- I like believe in ghosts. Um... But I know my- my house is not haunted. I would have noticed by now. 
No, I'm not joking. Yeah, but like, why? Why would you summon a demon though? Like, knowing that they exist, right? Why would you do that? I don't. I don't understand. And the ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Because I want a friend. Dragon, you have me. And you have your two boyfriends. No any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. But they're asleep? That doesn't mean you need a demon to help you feel better, unless you're talking about me. Brother told me that when he got in the car a few days ago for school, he was alone. He thought he saw a tall woman move behind, move behind from the corner of his eyes. Oh, I read it as tall. It's fine. I didn't even notice. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? Um... Skeleton outside your window. Regular stranger person outside your window. Uh, he's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. No, I'm just creepy. I can do this cool but also creepy thing. Zombie bank guy. What's a cool creepy thing? I'm curious. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scary stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were you supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Are we going? I know there's a grave digger here somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Wherever the fuck you are, I can see if a spirit is with you or not. Do I have a spirit? Is that a thing you can tell? Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, that's why I said it was fucking behind you. Can you tell if they're friendly or not? Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. Yeah, it's friendly. Knew it. I could. I knew it. Hey, man. You're my homie. Dap him up. It's tall as fuck, though. My homie! Hold on. Let me reach. Fuck yeah. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here, then. Let's go check out a grave or three. I'll have to check out a grave or three. Where do I go to meet with the grave digger? Clearly religious. 95 years. Wow. She was born when the most high tech thing was horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. Shaws from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Bro went through your wall. Did they didn't doubt me back up? Damn. Oh, hi, Grave Digger. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost when my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the Grave Digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Uh. Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I'll work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You think about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. No. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Freaking sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. <laughs> Career idea? Rank digger. Make an epic space base in a Roblox game? Do it. Aww. Dang. We like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. Should get off at least one good sentence in life. 
Help, I can't get a song out of my head. Different song. Uh, 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 um, um, do one, I believe in you. Just make one up, or just blast it into your brain through Spotify. Uh, okay, there are no more graves this way. That's literally the janitor up there. I didn't eat before I st started streaming. That's fine. Who needs food? Can I not get up here? Okay, it's just the background. Hey, Beatrice. B. 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 My friend. I don't think I should talk to her. That seems rude. Hey. Hey. Is this... Yep. Oh. Yep. Hey. <laughs> There is quite literally nothing else to do. Okay, that is that is very cute. She's like 70 years old and plays Minecraft with her husband. That's awesome. There you are. Brad Boysen. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Um, he crashed his bike, he was hit by a bike, or he loved his bike. He probably loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it so right. Jeez, P. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. Just a, just a little bit. Janitor, I see you up there, my man. I know that sit hole wet. Now I have to go interrupt B again. I'm an ass, dude. Oh, hi, B. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? No. We've been having sinkhole problems in town. That's what was wrong with your street. Those guys who were working on your street? Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. We are now in the background. Hmm. Oh, it's the teens. Oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well. We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're s sitting in front of? We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well. Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? <laughs> you can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This is when you weren't talking to me. Who? When did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and, like, do math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This is boring. 
Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask, like, spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Well, you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna watch wrestling? Uh, I can wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. It's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. What time I farted in front of the class? <laughs> well, that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. Uh, oh. <laughs> we want junior high, high school, or college. We'll do junior high because it's farther back. I. Oh god. Tell. I just started getting my period and I bled on the chair in science class. Oh god. Oh god. And I got up at the end of class and ran. Oh no. And this kid came in and sat in the chair. Oh no. And later I walked by the nurse office and the kid was sitting in there with blood on his butt. And the nurse was calling his mom. And, and, and he looked at me as I went past and. I think he knew. Okay. That was pretty messed up. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Is that for real? Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Haha. <laughs> They're all laughing in order. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes? Echoes of shit that happened to people that were there. Oh. Trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Huh, that's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. All right, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out uh, by that big ass gate. Why am I a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And stop whatever you're probably gonna do. Hmm, yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back. Oh, I see. Big brain. Um, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. 
You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. The ground here is all swampy. Oh, gross. So what do we need to do here? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, get his home. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. Found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Hmm. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine a big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. I'm imagining! Okay. Um... This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something is just stupid. It didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is, is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey wakey, little Joe! What do you want me to do, game? I'm confused. I am at a loss. Um... Oh, I see. Okay, that didn't sound right. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. I lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Okay. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We got more a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. I'm- Ah! Uh. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. They just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave. Now. It could be the ghost. No! We're gone! Now! Okay, fine, jeez. <laughs> Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. I saw the effing ghost. He saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. 
uh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Was it not the janitor? School hole. <laughs> Little Joe's dang school. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must be avenged. Saw him. <sighs> can we play? Can we play Pumpkinhead Man, please? Pumpkinhead Man. Bedtime. Bedtime. really cool oh yeah no for sure I I this game is beautiful you'll probably like this part blue cheese I love space things space things are great hello Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Uh, you are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Uh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Not the evil bugs. Ah. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. Uh, 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 trees in the fall, what about the leaves? Their existence means like nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. And why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of, the th all of this? Where is this going? <laughs> Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature.
Goodbye, little creature. Pumpkin head guy, pumpkin head guy. trying so hard. That end bit sucks. But I think I got a pretty good on that one. Nope, just kidding. I got a literally don't know the song. It's fine. Who cares? I don't care. Okay. Let's go to B again. B, we need to hang out again. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Uh, what are you up to today? Uh, whatever you wanna do. Proximity. So, what kind of party is this? Um. A Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? Remember Jackie? Uh... Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Oh, uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order Give Them Hell. Twogs? Yeah, it's actually really great. She got a great screen. I'm sold. Twogs. Hey, B, say it. Say twogs. Twog. 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 Anyway, <laughs> this is a party, and Jackie invited me. Look at you! All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. Now you are invited. Woohoo! We got, okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so, jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Uh, what even was that play? Corvin the Thief, old, kind of obscure. Slick little barn cat, lived in the woods. 
where no one could find him. But then he stole a diamond or something from the local king and got arrowed to death. Oh yeah, right. Yep. There's a whole second part where he's a ghost, but they never perform that one. Or ghost cat. Alright, let's go. Kind of nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. It's just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie! Hey, B. A oh, weird. It's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yes. Yeah, that okay? Sure. It'll be fun. Come on. It's a good time. It's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course, there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. All <laughs> right. You don't talk the shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and harbor bred harbor reds. Wow, what are you doing here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah. Can you dance me? Can like anyone here dance? True. Oh, we dancing. Oh, we dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we jam- we- we jamming. <laughs> if you hold down, she twerks. Oh, uh, we will not be doing that. That's really funny though. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance, I never knew. I wanna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away, with any eye shot, and I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any, B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Cat jam. Cat jam. Okay, there's really nothing I can do except just dance. Dancing is easy. What's the big fuss? Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Uh, May Borowski. Borowski. Nice. That sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, Mabrowski? Uh <laughs> my college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I'm a grad student studying vampires and I play bass. Nah, we'll do this one. We'll, we'll be we'll be honest. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around jumbled bits of like history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it, like, kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it, and I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college, and I don't even want to get into that, and all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal, and that's not really working out, and I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. 
I've never just listed all that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, uh, alright. Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. It's a good idea. Borowski. <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. I need to tell my friend location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. You guys feeling the tension? You guys feeling the tension in the air? Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, Memento Mori and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a transit Gloria nerd. Uh, 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 sure. You're laughing a lot. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Well, a book you liked? Uh, I liked ghost stories, I guess? My granddad died and left me an apple crate full. Sorry about your granddad. That's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog dad died last spring. My house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci. Of course it's poli -sci. Of course it's poli -sci. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. I'm gonna play zilli pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. B, B, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I entered at my uncle's far firm, yeah. Well, I bagged groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Uh, sure. You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. You want to go across the tree street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get a free slices. Uh, B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> I may know. What even is Possum Springs? It's West, in the mountains. While Rich Kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May! What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. Do you live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County. Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, be here driven from Deep Hollow. You're not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... <laughs> be wait. What was that about? Hey, she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. What if? Hear me out. Oh, I can't go talk to the girl again. B? What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. 
Okay. Oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. We get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move! What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza parking lot. You cool down? You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. Last person I hurt, physically. <laughs> I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to. You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. <laughs> no, you don't. Move. I hope you break your spine. B. Okay. Damn it. Do I have to go back? Nope, because I can't go up there. There we go. Are you okay? B, there you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town, and you don't even know what- This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. You could have been like mugged or something all over some idiot guy. Call just stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. You can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard and I take care of what's left of my family. And my life is slipping away and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, for saying you're back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh, well that's eliminating. Oh, shut up. 
all this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. There you go. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like... It's okay. We're, like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Redwinder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors, and the river rocks are always looking up at them. <laughs> so, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... what's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. And they can laugh while you suffer. <laughs> Can't believe you. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away in the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together. Again. This crazy old basement. We call life beaches. Thanks. That's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come back to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how not to not do it again. But you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. V, I'm like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You are like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you are a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Centello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap, I didn't get her info! Ooh. The super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again. Home again. Mayday and baby. BB. Bombshell. <laughs> Stuck together. Don't suck together. And I believe this is the last day. I don't know why I did this. Maybe one more bass song. Oh, now cycles is here. Okay. Pumpkinhead guy. <laughs> Thank you.
I almost had that really tough bit. Almost. <sighs> oh well. Let's go to sleep. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go next. So... Hey kid, snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe, add it, me. You know the drill. Alright, we'll go to B. I suppose. Um, all of my cords are wrapped around my chair. Okay. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. I don't know what that voice was. Well, I wanted to let you know. Ran a test on you on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested as all. Well. Definitely. I belonged to a middle-aged man, a medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. I always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Was not no ghost involved in this, whatever it was? Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Okay. If you say so. Hello, B. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired, had a headache for, for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Um. Um. Let's go to a snack falcon. That's not what I meant to do. Sorry, I'm looking at walkthroughs and stuff on my other screen. Hello, Greg. Hey, man. Hey! How you holding up? Got a splitting headache. I feel like I've barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Uh, kill me? Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So what are you up to today? Uh, I guess this. You sure? You seem like really tired. Yeah, let's do this.
I wonder. Hold on. I'm going to check something. Um, hmm. I'm gonna get off since I need to make my lunch for tomorrow. Sounds good, beat blue cheese. Good night. Sleep well. And have fun making your uh your lunch. Okay. Um bye, bye bye. Okay. Should now have all thirty one. Mm. These are helping. Cool. Hmm. Um, I don't know what achievements I'm still missing. Oh, it's probably Demon Tower one. Um, the sketchbook, and the music one. What are... Huh. What about, like, not walkthroughs? What about achievements? Um, boom, 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 pow, pow. I'll look at the credits. Wait. Press upon all the songs and we'll play by not touching. Oh, that's an achievement? Okay. Beat the game a second time. People, it only works if you hang out with only B or Greg. Okay, got that one. Cool. Got all of these. Got all of these. Got all of these. Bang, pow. I'm so good. Make it last. Do the following: uh, B and Greg friendship quests, investigation quests, germ, dust stars. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 So, what we're gonna do? That's why they wanted you to not touch anything. Okay, uh, we're gonna go. Let's say, um. Okay. Here's a thing, actually. Play Lost Constellation. A little less than a year into full-time development in the domain. The Woods Potato had to do a longest night game. We wanted to do something in the spirit of the first supplemental game. Small, made within a time, tight time frame, full of things we thought were cool. We had a lot of systems and ideas we wanted for, to use it for a night in the woods. This seemed like a good way to do a test run. And once we have something finished, and as what the longest night, sometimes you need to complete something. Lost Constellation went from concept to co completion in the last five weeks of 2014. I don't know what this is, genuinely. I'm gonna rob the bank! <laughs> you wanna spend the longest night in jail? I'm gonna rob him to death. They'll never catch me. There'll be time enough when you're older for felonies in jail. What's a felony? A bad thing they put you in jail for. Not if they don't catch me. Okay, how about a story before bedtime? A longest night story. Sure. But not a dumb one like Charity Verity. How about a ghost story? Ooh, yeah. Alright then. I hope lots of people die in it. 
caught, kid. I'm starting over here. I'm gonna go in the hills. Interesting. That's unfortunate. <gasps> Hello. Far from home here, all right. Could just go back. No. It's been a year, and you made a promise. Get a hold of yourself. You're not gonna die in there tonight. You're gonna see her again. You come back with a star. Okay, okay. Interesting. So this is like a... This is how they tested controls and stuff. Gather snowball. Okay, I need to gather a lot of these. Okay, now I'm full. Wow, this fog is too thick. Weird fog. How do you get rid of weird fog? Go away, fog. Okay, how do I get rid? Wid. How do I get rid of weird fog? Oh. I bet I know. That one. Very high. Bye, weird fog. Haha. <gasps> Hello. Cat! Hey, cat! Do you live in this forest? Near enough. Can I ask you a question? You're going to die in there tonight. Wow, that is unhelpful. Is it? Uh, where are you going, cat? I'm visiting my relations, but first I'll go to church. That sounds like your standard longest night. Before church, I'll hunt up a bowl and eat it. And before that, I'll watch you walk into the woods to die. And before that, we'll say goodbye. Are you so sure? Oh. Well, goodbye. <laughs> what are you? Oh, I see. Goodbye. Where does this happen? back where my grandparents came from, but long before they lived. Did they have the longest night back then? They did. What did they call it? Longest night. Oh. I don't know how long this is. genius. <gasps> oh my god. You're having bones for arms, my friend. Hell yeah. Bone arms. And there's your schnoz. Um, and there's an eye. And another eye. Give you some glorious hair. No, what am I doing? I don't want these. Get these out of here. This will be your hair. Yes. Perfect. He's just a little guy. Just a little dude. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. What am I? What's happening? What am I? Help. Are you okay? What am I? You're a snowman? I'm just water and garbage. How are you talking? I don't know anything. You wouldn't happen to know where to find the forest god, would you? There's nothing about me that isn't forest and sky. It's like a poem. What am I? You're like a poem. 
The snowman is no help. Well, if at first you don't succeed, kill it and make a better one. Well, okay, you got that partly right. Which part? Listen up and I'll tell you. So you what? A ghost? No ghost. Wait, you are no ghost and you already have no ghost. What am I? How's it going? What is going? Okay, then. Okay, what is going? Um... Okay, can't hit it. Well, I assume I make another snowman. Oh, hello, friend. Pilgrim. Hello, you. My mother, patience, forget not God. Wow, that is a name. It was gifted to me when I was ordained. What was your name before? Butchy Mud. Oh, okay, that's a change. Do you wish to say a prayer at this, the shrine of St. Oroloni? <laughs> who, beloved of the forest god, was shown the way to the chasm in the Red Bell, and into his holy mountain. You said that all without taking your breath. You want to pray or not? Uh, why, yes, I do. You may recite when ready. Gracious tree lord, leafy and barked. Uh, enchanted deer monster, hoofy in the night. De deer monster? Look, I'll admit that one was a total guess. You clearly have not known our forest god. Listen, I'm not from around here, and- Go! Return when you have been granted knowledge. Yes, I do. Uh... Gracious Tree Lord. No tree can be a god. Not a tree, obviously. Alright, I don't have the knowledge. Mega unfortunate. Okay, that's a good omen, I'm sure. Crap almighty. Pull it. Hey, skeleton. That dude, you should have pulled the hand out. Could have given him a hand. Ouija board! We got a planchette. Do -do 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 -do. Alright. Ah. I can't. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to make him horribly, horribly interesting. <laughs> he is screaming in pain. I love him. Hello? Hello. You okay? Well, just before now I was dead. And I'm still dead, so there's that. Oh, sorry. That just means I can leave these woods and go wherever dead people go. Is that how that works? I think I was in some sort of daze. And this woke me up. If you want to return the favor, I need some help. I can tell you a fortune. I can contact the dead. I need to find the forest god. I need to get through the woods. Oh, well, the first part's easy enough. Find the shrine in say North Canticle. What is that? In the wings and the trees, all things die. Be at peace. She saw care. They are coming. God of the forest, carry us. Where'd you learn that? When we said it in church twice a week. And also five times a day. To, to you? I'm not from around here. Once I wasn't either. Listen, I still have some remnant of my sensitivities. What? If you're lost, I can try to point you in the right direction. Thanks. Who are you? I mean, are you a ghost? I don't know. Who were you before? I was a fortune teller and a medium. A real one? Real enough. See, I found this thing in a tree, and then, then I knew I had to build you here somehow. Seances would often hold an object of importance to the deceased. Did it work? Well enough. As for why here, though, sometimes a grave is the best place to contact the dead. Oh god, is this your grave? Not mine. It appears to be someone's final resting place. Who carries Bert? People out of the way out here. Snow. Fair enough. One more time. 
Not to harp on this, and thank you again for your help, but do you know whose body is under you? No idea. I don't think it matters. Just a connection to wherever. Were you, uh, somewhere else until now? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even seem real. This is like a waking dream. This is weird. Yes, it is. Fair enough. Alright, let's go to the shrine. And say, in the, le in the winds and in the leaves, and other things come to die. Why? Okay. This is not where I thought I would be. Hmm. Oh, you've eaten the vole. Um, hello? Evening. Where is... Oh my god. You ate Father Patience forget not god No, he left. You're wearing his little hat! He gave me his hat. I feel so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? It's not from the other mouse. It's for the shrine. Hmm. Brrr. And their wings and their trees. Continue. All things die, be at peace. Uh, cease all care, they are coming. God of the forest, carry us. <laughs> so, those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are they ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? Well, I think sometimes people stay with you long after they're gone. Is Grandma a ghost now? <laughs> On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, May, I'll be around to see your own kids. No, you won't. Well, May, that's not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean, I don't ever want kids ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll all howl at the moon. Never, never change, May. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, it's definitely special for its face. Okay. Lots of snowballs. There is another one right here. Okay, lots of snowmen bits. Oh, I can build another one. That is a big one. Oh, that fucking almost hit. Hello? Hello? Hello, traveler. And who are you? Adina, an astronomer. I seek an audience with the forest god. I'm sorry, Adina, but the forest god will not entertain you. Kings, emperors, ones of high import. Only those am I permitted to allow for you. But I'm important. I'm an empress. I may wear a blindfold, but I can hear that you are alone. And no empress will travel alone. This is highly improper. This is highly annoying. You are indeed an empress. Be your entourage here. We shall discuss the situation. Until then, have a pleasant longest night. Thanks. Okay. So we need to find more things.
bottle. Hello? 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 I'm interested in a coffin. Uh... In the long run? These are hard times. The days are short and the nights are long. And the winter lasts forever. Meaning... Meaning you have a bright future and being a lump in a snowbank. So head west. West is home. Well, this is where I'm going, so... The trees here move. They confuse your path. They bend the powers of the god of the forest. And you'll never obtain the permission to pass. So this is why you're trying to sell me a coffin? I provide a service. If you pay me now, I'll collect your remains and bring them back to your relations. You charge in advance for this? I can't really charge any uptime. Oh, right. Well, I don't have any money. <laughs> no coffin for you then. And your ghost will be quite unhappy. Whatever. Whatever indeed. Hmm. Oh, it's my snowman I made. How's it going? What is going? Okay then. Yeah, so this does get all wibbly wobbly. I love it. There's a skeleton again. Hey, skeleton. Aha! Hello, friend. The trees here are weird. Look at the trees. You said something about the trees? Uh, sometimes I don't see anything but snow up there. Weird snow. Weird snow. Weird snow. I'll check it out. I've seen your future. It lies hidden in the branches. Okay, that's helpful. Bless you much. Oh, you were being sarcastic. Yeah, so it's just telling me to look in the trees for things to put on snowmen. Bonk! The things in the trees, all the things die, be at peace, so okay, they're coming, God of the forest. <laughs> Snow children. Ooh, you, my friend, will have the horn. <laughs> You'll be like a little duck. <laughs> and you'll have the tiniest little arms. <laughs> Look at him as he screams. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello there. Oh wow, are you just a horn? Let's try this. Honk once for yes and twice for no. Got it? Honk. Uh, are you just a horn ghost kind of thing? Honk, uh, honk. Uh. Are you the person who played this horn? Honk. Uh. Listen, by bringing you back, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever the dead people do. Does that sound okay? Honk. Uh, okay, great. Follow my lead. After I make your brother, who is an alcoholic. I wish I could turn it. Oh, I can't. I wish I could. <gasps> oh, I fucking can, bitch. You'll be holding- Oh, hold it with both your fingies. In fact... There's one. Um, and we'll have... The other, just kind of like... Right there, um, and then we have like squinty branches. We have squinty branches. There's an eye, and there's an eye. Actually, if I just take this other bone. Beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, and you will have a mohawk. You want a mohawk, my friend? to be abrupt, but I need your help. Wait, where am I? You're on the forest, God Mountain. Because I'm going to the frozen lake. So am I. You're not. Oh. Oh. Listen, by bringing you here, I think you'll be able to help get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Okay, that sounds as likely as anything else that's happening. Okay, follow my lead. I, it is... I'm not getting any less dead. Fair enough. I love my children. They're beautiful. This is Timothy, and this is Randica. Oh, I'm so up close! I didn't mean to speak with you, I apologize. There we go. Hello? Hello, Traveler. Travelers, we seek an audience with the Forest God. I'm God to Debrow. Who are you now? I'm Empress Astra, and this is my Imperial Advisor, Advisor Williams. Greetings. And my Herald, um, Herald. Nice. Aw. Uh, is that a Glutenhorn? A what now? I played Glutenhorn back in my school days. Well, <laughs> what a coincidence. Is that one cursed too? What? <laughs> no, seriously, what? Uh, what? Gluten horns are the curse of the eventual death for all who play them. Wow. An extreme misfortune for all who hear them. Aww. Clearly. And they let you play this in school? Oh my god! Aww. Yeah, that'll be a curse, alright. And now you are cursed, for you have heard the gluten horn. And your poor herald is cursed with eventual death. Oh no, not that. Oh, Stanislaus, the pain your horn has caused. Uh, please allow us to seek the wisdom of the forest god. In regards to the curse of misfortune, myself and Imperial Advisor Williams now anticipate. We share a curse. How can I refuse? Thank you, God Tender. Allow me. Cross onto the holy mountain. Thank you, ghost friends. Wait. Yes. I'm truly sorry, but you cannot sit the forest god this long this night. Why not? I, I, we have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, we must keep this a secret, but, but the forest god is sick. They are old and dying, and they cannot see you. I might have said that. You can't risk that. Dying? How can a god be dying? I do not pretend to know the ways of such things. If only I knew what was happening. The god tenders a task of caring for the forest god. This is death. I've never seen this thing. It's like not in the 700 years of records kept since St. Cecil began tending god. Oh no. If up the peace came, all would be well. The peace? But centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. And not like after, they became really ill. Her? Do you mean the hunter? Do not say her name here. My heart is broken. My god is dying. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, god tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress, as representative of the forest throne. I said that no power of the forest god shall bar, bar your way the longest night. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, god tender Brown. Go, and take a blessing. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. I'm looking for the hunter? I never found her. Maybe that's a good thing. She's not the forest god. She does not grudge passage. She's something altogether more nihilist. Is that the word? Huh. She's an impulse playing itself out. 
she isn't the first, and she won't be the last. What? Oh, I don't know, child. I'm just talking. You'll never find her hollow without something to help you. And I never found out what it was. Thanks, anyway. Be careful. I'm getting into something here. Hmm. Okay. So I'm looking in the trees again. For something. Hello? Hello. Hello there, traveler. Hello. What is your business here tonight? Uh, I'm going to the frozen lake. Well, that's a coincidence. So are we. Blessed meeting. Do you know the way through the woods? We surely do. We are bound for an audience with the forest god. And after that, we have an arm and fire to light it. Uh, what did you say you were going to set on fire? The arm of a dead criminal. Donated, of course. <laughs> oh, Stevenson. And you're going to set it on fire? Yes. And it will light the way to the Hunter's Hollow. That's for us. Well, best of luck. Best of luck to everyone. Even you. We have enough luck to go around. Okay. So I need that skeleton arm. Which it might be gracious enough to give me. Aw, you're so kind. Well, I need an arm. And that's an arm. If I'm lucky, the skeleton is a criminal. Was. This used to be alive. Now I just need to light fire into fire and stick it in. Stick it in. Oh god. It's cold. I don't know what else you expected, to be honest, my friend. Okay, I need a stick. What is that? It's an arm. Uh, I need to borrow your stove. Wait, what are you doing? Putting the skeleton arm in your stove. Um, no, no you're not. <laughs> it is done. This is messed up. You're telling me. Please leave now. This is a great story now. Oh, you like the spooky stuff, huh? You know I do, I hate the other stuff. Well, the other stuff is important too. Hang in there. Okay, I guess. Interesting. Okay. I went a different part of the forest. Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? Oh, girl, it's all over now. <laughs> Flashbang. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. There are old bony bodies in the north, where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dirt and ice for millennia. In some of them, there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will get warm and the ice will melt, and that sickness will finish the work on us that began when we were first born. Kid, will you please stop that honking? Nope. Fine, kid, fine. I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. Haha. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? I think you know the answer. You just showed up. Ugh, we all just show up. Stay the problem. But you won't have to worry about that, will you? Uh, actually, I need to get to the frozen lake. When you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? When something's down the brambles, I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I get the most prized in a shrine, so precious it is to me, and so painful, but to keep the precious and painful close. I feel like we keep getting off track here. I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off with your skin. When you leave, you're going down to the brambles like all the others, and I have to go outside to fix the weather, because the weather vane got knocked around again. 
It's a really stupid system you have going on there. When I get up to do that, I'll look out from the hall, though, and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. Why don't you just kill me now, then? Because of that smell. What are you, anyway? I'm an astronomer. Astronomer. Former apprentice. Oh, honey. All of those stars in your head. They will go out like candles tonight. What are you? The forest god isn't really a god. I am twice their size. I am twice as real. Honestly, whoever you are, even if you're- even you are twice as real as they are. Adina. Adina and Astra. A ridiculous name. You named yourselves, I can tell. Just the last part. Now, what would make a little girl change her last name? Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere. As did the woman before me. And we found the cabin, and I fed the oven. And we survived, and then I survived. And the quarrel with the forest god went on for centuries. Until it ended, quite recently. Well. Shut it, kid. I swear if I wasn't physically present in here, she'd talk about anything. Are you a witch? What is a witch? You mean the woman in the woods. A man in the woods is a hermit, or a woodsman, or a huntsman. They didn't have a name for a woman who weren't where they should be. So they stole a name they feared and hated, and pressed it onto us. And you. The word they use for girls like me is kidnapped. This one, every day, I swear, won't do chores. Back sass, sass mouth. Why not send her back to where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. We're done talking. I'm sorry, Adina Astra. I know you wanted to live, but I've taken that future from you. And it's mine now. And you can't take it back. So I'm looking for a ring. Alright. Hey. Weird snow is way up in the trees. Need a good strong wind. <laughs> Just need to control the wind is all. Simple. Okay. So I need a good strong wind. Which if I remember correctly has to do with that. Okay, can I triple jump? No. Okay. Perfect. Down you go! Ugh. I'm not going to die here tonight. I'm just not. I need to see what's in this hollow. I need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. I don't have any snowballs. And bing! And bing! Need something special. God, I have to get back into that house. This is the worst, longest night ever. How does one get back into the house? Hmm. Possibly. Hmm. Here she comes. You stay off my porch. So cold. So cold. No, 
I'm an astronomer. Those are my skies, damn it. I'm gonna survive this. Okay. Um. Hmm. What if? Oh, I'm a genius. I need somewhere to hide. Yeah, I got there. Accept it. You're freezing in the brambles tonight. She seems distracted by the weather thing. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, so I got that she's distracted. How do I hide? Was I not hiding enough? The brambles. Squirrels. North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. Far in the north, I've discovered your secret name. Bonk. I can get you out of here. You can't even get yourself out of here. I can barely get out of the attic and away from that extremely creepy shrine. It's not safe for you here. Did you know I made that poison? She never even thanked me. She should take all the credit for it. What? I know, right? Married me a goddess and something you want to let someone else get credit for. Oh my god. I thought you were... I'm going to survive. Get away! Let's see if I have the card. Um, I doubt it. Um, and I imagine the child just keeps. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Just keeps talking to you. like a rabbit. Or a demon. Whatever. Go. What? No, no. <laughs> no. God, no. Girl, what have you done? You... you watched it happen. You watched. It wasn't me, it was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. I didn't get to choose what happened to me. It was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive. And I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. I was her twin. You fled into the woods, identical in all things, except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you. It is as long dead as I am now, but you survived. I, I, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry, I never meant to. Get out! <laughs> Yes, May? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Huh. It's quite 
that statement. I'm really smart. Well, you came up with that plan to rob banks, so clearly you're onto something. I don't know what this is about. I think you have to figure that out on your own. I don't like that. Interesting. Hey! Hey, you! Still alive, eh? You just saw all the trees give a great shudder, like they were falling into line. And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. What do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. Okay. I suppose whatever I run into... You're a fraud! Why, hello. Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one takes you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost in code and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the forest god's mountain to the hunter's hollow, for god's sake. And yet here you are, back into my cabin. That's more than an hour after you last left. Letting the heat out in the cold and busy night for you, eh? Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Hell's warm, at least. But night. Interesting. In the wings and the trees, all things die, be at peace. Please all care, they are coming. God of the forest. I know it's wrong, I can help the forest god! My children. I have discovered what is wrong, my friend. Godsender Brown. Empress, it is so late. Why are you still here? Listen, this is very important. I know why your god is dying. What? You see, I saw. No, you must talk to them. What? Why? I'm not worthy of hearing their, weak of their weaknesses. I don't deserve the peace I have found here. And I must honor them as best as my frail self will allow. That's really something. Come with me now. So if I hadn't spoken to the child, I wouldn't know. This is cool. I love colored fire. Hello? Are you there? You've come late. You are no empress. Centuries have passed since I spoke to one so small and unimportant. It is my right to kill you. I didn't know that. Accept it. Death is happening always. Why should I accept it? It is the natural way. Funny how you decided that the way you, that the way that always allows you to kill me is the natural one. You're not a god. You're just a big animal. They call me a god. So I'm god enough. I love it. Look at it. Look at it. Nope, right there. Look at it, dude. That's so fucking cool. I want one. I want a plushie of it. Tell me what was so important to say to me that you would give up your life. Uh, I know why you're dying. I am not dying. Oh, I thought you might have accepted it. Death being always and always and all that. It was God Tender Brown who told you. Useless. Worthless. I will find use for him. He will feed the forest. The trees will find worth in him. No. God Tender Brown is a good man. He is kind and curious and warm. Even while standing out in the cold for you. He thinks he doesn't deserve you. But you don't deserve him. And I'd rather you die never knowing what happened to you than to have you touch one hair on his head or betray his devotion. Why are we dying? Promise Brown will be safe. Promise on whatever is holy to you. I promise on myself. I promise on the tiger. Endless. Good. Now swear on what is holy to you. Um, I swear on the stars. If that is what gives you hope, fine. No speak. The only reason I came here is because I've gotten to the brown sadness and his love for you. But you won't survive, and now I want you to know that. Speak. The hunter poisoned you, obviously. 
world. There was peace after. Hundreds of years, I know. But why? She's a survivor. It appears you won't be. And neither shall she. Ugh. You big dumb animal. Goodbye. I want it. Give. They're gone. They'll be back. They always are. God tender. Yes, Empress? You're a good man. Thank you. I can only hope to be good. Hope is good. Whatever happens, please don't lose that. I wish you blessings on your journey. You as well. Happy longest night. Happy longest night to you. I give it. I'm getting sleepy, Granddad. We're almost done, May. Oh, good. I like the story a lot. I knew you would. You can rob banks with me anytime. I'm a bit nervous about the frozen lake. Do you know the story? Not really. Of how the lake was so deep, it went down to the grave, and the dead came to the surface and spoke with the living. Of how it was so black, and it ate the moon's reflection. And how the moon, being jealous, convinced the sun to turn its back on the lake, so it would be fro forever frozen. That is where the dead may be found beneath the ice, for they can no longer leave those waters. Did ain't that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Oh, let me. Okay. Mm. <gasps> my first born. Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. Kid? She's gone. She just left. Just now? All I know is that sometime after she left, something happened. She stopped being where she was. I don't know if she died or... But something is happening to me. Can't you just go back home? Child, I am home. Oh. But I'm going to visit where I came from. Let's go. No, no, you don't understand. I used to hope no one who knew I was. I used to hope no one who knew I was gone would come looking for me. But now I'm going to go looking for them. The townsfolk will weep weep when they see what I've done to them. And as they go into the ground, I will dig them up. I will place them in the beds of those who loved them. And people will look at the ruin of the town and say it is haunted. Oh, kid, listen to me. Oh, please, child. Until an hour ago, I was younger than you. But now I am far, far older. You were kind to me, and I will give you this kindness in return. We won't meet you. All right. Hey, Cat. Figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. You're such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to. Just passing through. Isn't that always the way? Uh, so who are you, really? Pardon? You some magical cat? Cat god? Cat wizard? Something? I'm just a cat. I live in the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh! Your turn. Who are you? Um, I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. 
It's very true. I'm freezing. The hunter, the child, the forest guard. Those aren't your business. I know. We build that here. You were in the forest. I'm an astronomer. I may be their forest, but it's under my sky. <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the astronomer. Good luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. make it. A promise is a promise. I was home. Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on longest night eve. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't, so ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did. My first night dead. It's there. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just have no way of seeing you. You still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away, there's this thing bigger than I can think about. Burning away. Exploding. And between us is this sheet of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm gonna overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name, we give it ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And that connection, it becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you die. And I miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you're a star out of it. That's something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing is something at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. That was really good. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you. And that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some light and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? <laughs> You look duckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Very nice. Very good. Okay, um, I know there's one more little, little doodad. Um, the extras. Play Longest Night, play Lost Constellation. A little less than a year into full-time development of Night in the Woods, we decided to... Do a second log of night game. We wanted to do something in the spirit of the first simple mental game. Small, made within a tight time frame, full of things we thought were cool. We had a lot of systems and ideas when we wanted to use for Night in the Woods, and this seems like a good way to do a test run, to experiment, and to once again have something finished. And, as with Longest Night, sometimes you just need to complete something. Longest Lost Constellation went from constant to completion in the last five weeks of 2014. I don't know if that's, I think that's, I think it's the same thing. Um, what extras we got? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not dark. Ah, uh, frozen lake layout. Stick arm, cauldron, butt flap. King, his advisor, and his ill-fated Stevenson. Oh, I'm still missing some. Oh, there's demon tower, it's probably demon tower shit. All right. Hmm. Uh, 
Um. Oh. How will I do this? I think the next bit I should go for is Demon Tower. Um. Unfortunately, Demon Tower kind of sucks. Um. Let's see, Demon Tower, everything you need to know about Demon Tower. Uh huh. The six and seven bosses of the game are totally. Um. Dies on one hit, so hit hard. Mm hmm. I like I like this bit. I'm gonna show this to you guys. Um, welcome to hell. <laughs> um, yeah, no, these bosses suck to dick. Boss is a piece of cake. Damn. Congratulations, you beat Demon Tower. Oh shit, man. I have to do Demon Tower again, dude. Uh, even Chain Dashes. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, I have all this information. Should I start? Should I set up? Um, whatever it's called. Uh, Demon Tower. Should we play a bit of Demon Tower before going to bed. Sure. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. I, that's, you know what? I pushed it. I, yeah, I pushed it. I literally, I literally, literally, okay, now we're looking at this. I literally tried to freaking, um, pull up, I literally tried to, try to go to options, and I quite literally, oh, whatever, it's fine. Um, we'll just end the stream, um, a tiny bit early, which is fine. Um. But thank you guys so much for watching. Forgot I moved my camera. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I did. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just be um, doing Demon Tower pretty much the whole time. So that'll really be pretty fun. Um, but yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Hold on, I gotta find the button. Peace.